Hi, now I'm going to read the part that's called the West Point Tour. West Point has been inspiring, educating, and training those of character with leadership skills for over 200 years. Getting accepted into an institution such as West Point is a remarkable accomplishment in itself. West Point was referenced a lot by my stepfather, John Luke, and how much that experience meant to him because it definitely affected his worldview. It helped John Luke determine what his purpose was in life, and he stayed on that path to help others. I really wanted to visit West Point in person, the institution that shaped John Luke's life, his perceptions, and his opportunities. Did his experience there change his personality at all? I viewed him as a realist, but is that true? It's my perception of him anyway. He accepted any situation and was prepared to deal with it. My visit and personal tour of West Point was prompted by an unexpected email. Captain Zachary Wiley was referred to me by one of my clients. Zachary needed help with sourcing for a new training program that he developed. He happens to be a 2009 West Point graduate and a West Point instructor at the time of writing this book. After a few email exchanges, he offered to help me in any way I needed. So of course I took him up on the offer, an unexpected and good outcome. I didn't want to go alone and decided to ask my youngest son to go with me and he was definitely up for it. Before we entered the actual campus, my son and I checked out the museum to kill some time before Zachary could come pick us up. That area was under construction to make way for an updated visitor center. Zachary picked us up in his personal car just outside the West Point entrance gate at McDonald's. I viewed that as a twist of satire. There is a McDonald's golden arches literally outside the security entrance of West Point with its own elaborate arched gateway. The first thing I did when Zachary came up to us and he asked me, are you Bridget? I immediately gave him a big mom hug. I don't know what compelled me to do so, and it probably surprised him. I was just so happy and grateful at the moment. My son shook his hand instead. The campus is breathtaking because of its location on the Hudson River and surrounding architecture. It's hard to describe in just a few simple words. Just so much history in one location, really. And during the visit, we were reminded that West Point was founded by George Washington. I believe that understanding the importance of history will help us all make better decisions. And a visit to West Point is highly recommended and something to put on your to-do list. There are a lot of books about West Point topics and trivia, but nothing compares to being there in person. Nothing really. There's about 1,300 acres for cadet training. We only access the main part of the campus because of the time frame allotted. The inside of the chow hall was massive and had awe-inspiring architecture too. I understand now why my stepfather and those just like him stay connected to that place. Zachary mentioned that during his time there as a cadet for four years, you sat at the table for each meal with cadets from different levels, like plebes, etc. And food was passed around family style. One requirement of being accepted into the academy is participating in a sport. Academics and sports happen during the school year, and then combat training happens in the summer. There are multiple facilities on the West Point campus. There's a football field, a soccer field, a baseball field, track and field, basketball court, and a tennis court, just to name a few. They even offer youth summer camps each year for multiple sports. We were very impressed with the ice hockey rink. The building is set up on a hill and it seemed like on a cliff actually, and it was very steep to get to and from the parking lot. My son felt at home at the rink because he played travel hockey for many years 
but he stopped playing before his first year of college. I'm sure Grandpa John Luke was smiling down at us being in that West Point hockey rink. Zachary's generosity with me is an example of a West Point graduate, the long gray line, whose character and leadership skills were honed to help others. He certainly didn't hesitate to help John Luke's daughter.